Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Samwise Channel. Today we're building High Grade Gundam, the origin, the Jim Sniper Custom. So, if you don't know, this premium banner is based on the Jim Interceptor Custom, I believe, and Sniper is kind of the, you know, the Sniper developed to the GN Jim Interceptor, as I remember. I think I remember correctly. Anyway, that doesn't matter, and. As you know, uh, this Gumpler actually got a MG version of it, and it does have a premium band that says it's one of the Ace Pilot uh, custom unit. If you buy the MG one, a lot of people said it was uh, very good, is stable, and is pretty fun to play with. And let's see how is how it do on the XG version. And let's not talk that much and just open up the boxes. So we got five packages in total, and. A very lame instruction book as usual Bandai please fix your instruction book so this one it does give you the markings and as I see it's probably got 31 markings total is it 31 though yeah I think it's 31 31 markings in total so let's just quickly flick through the um, instruction book Ooh. What happened there okay so we can see that and we can see there's a beam saber beam spray gun and the sniper rival and the sniper rifle is actually pretty interesting let's see what parts does it didn't use so mainly it uses all the parts except the polycaps and the beam saber great no parts being wasted okay that's pretty great so let's take a close look at the markings uh oh boy that's gonna take a long time to put all those markings up so there is the color guide as well it does come with uh, english text so you can look at it if you really want to paint it about it and there is the product rules thing i don't really know what that what that call in english but fine uh okay not let's not talk that much and i will just Open up the runners first. All right, let's take a quick look of the runners. So first, this is the F two runner. This is the inner joints, uh, some part of the of the thrusters, and hands joint and thrusters and legs joint. This is the G runner beam spray gun, a beam saber, a backpack, the sniper unit on the head, and some part of the joints not really sure about that uh we got two e1 uh, is it e1 yeah two e1 runners they're exactly the same so i'm just gonna take one of them uh it's the legs part the lower legs armor the shoulders part and the side skirt this is the b2 runner it's oh it's the feet backpack uh arms joint and this is the A runner, backpack, torso, head, uh, waist part, side skirt, arms, and uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, wait, 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 and then a thinner. C runner, all the inner joints of the MS. We do have some hands option here. As you can see, another brim spray gun down here. And we can see the board, the joint of the arms and uh, the arm piece here. That's the B1 runner. We got some legs, torso, and feet, backpack, and beam sabers, and with the torso parts. This is the F3 runner. Uh, this is the waist armor, some thrusters, and some part of it. I don't really know which part it is. <laughs> this is the H1 runner. This is the sensor unit of the head. This is the D runner. As you can see, all feet parts, no extra anything. Uh, stickers. So gray stickers and a red camera for the head, I believe. This is the potty caps. This is the beam sabers. And that is the marking sheet. The marking sheet total got 32. It's not 31, it's 32. My mistake, but anyway. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys in the review. I have a high expectation about this Gumpla, so let's find it out. Let the 
this be another night? To tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight To erase your face, my mind Awake, I lie here staring up beyond the sky Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the review of the Gym Sniper Custom. So this is a finishing of it. I need to say, this is a very good finish. I like it, and it gives me a feeling of mixing between XG and RGs, and I'll talk about that why. And seriously, though, I recommend you to buy one. Though it is, it is a very simple design, but it actually gives a lot of. The articulation is good first, and it, uh, the weapon option is not really much. But sometimes when you build too much Gundams, like uh, for example, build uh, build divers, build fighters, uh, UCs, uh, seat series. When you build too much Gundams, sometimes when you go back to the max production MS, and you will kind of feel like, oh, actually, max production is a very good design as well. It's not just Gundams and villains got like extreme well design. And, uh, personally. Uh, one of my favorite mass production is actually the gym because they got a lot of variations and all of them, most, uh, I would say most of them is well designed and this is one of them. Uh, you might say though, oh, that's an MG version. Why don't you get it? Oh, speaking of MG version, uh, you notice how many gray parts on the arms and the legs. It was supposed to be white. If you took out the sample photo from the MG Gym Sniper Custom, you would clearly see the difference. Uh, the MG Gym Sniper Custom got some part of the white on the legs and the arms, while the XG don't have any of it. So there is a color difference about it. Uh, but anyway, that's not important at all. Um, We'll get to that XGRG detail uh, once we're moving forward from uh, in the review. And now, as usual, we're just going to start with the head. So first, from the head, uh, mostly is new, uh, although the main part is from the uh, normal gym's head. And as you can see, there's a antenna on the head. Uh, it is very it is very fragile, so if you accidentally snap it, then 
I guess you have to buy a new one or you can try to fix it because this is very weak. Um, so first, uh, the head is able to move up and uh, up and down and rotate 360 completely, no problem. The sniping camera can slide down and cover up the gym's face. The front camera and the back camera uh, red part is by stickers. Uh, it's a huge red piece of uh, red clear piece on the head and mostly i actually think this is a actually a pretty good idea second part that i most like about is the torso and the waist part do you know how good they were like look at this this part so usually if we have a ball joint design uh, at the uh, between torso and waist we'll usually have either pop outs or either sloppy and this time they did it right it's not sloppy it is actually feeling kind of good and I can tell you, you can move up and down and most excitingly, let me move the arm, they got a double joint and it, it's not like the Gundam ground type, it doesn't fall off, oh my god, it's just very heavy, like you can extend the, you can extend the torso waist movement uh, by this joint and it is an absolute good idea and you can read reattach it very easily i absolutely love that idea uh 10 out of 10 and uh, mostly uh the color separation on the torso is doing a pretty good job um so as you can see the thrust is here and the waist part down here all by parts uh all by parts color separation and i absolutely love it oh uh, well moving on to the waist uh, we have a side skirt here move very slightly so not really gonna mention about it uh the front skirt here because there's an armor piece here in um, getting in the way from in off the torso, so it's not going to move up that much, unfortunately. And we turn to the back, and we can see there's a spot here for you to put the sniper rifle on, and we will talk about that later. Now let's look at the arms movement. So first, let's look at the shoulders. So the shoulders here, we got a thruster piece here. Actually, is slightly movable, so great. And whole arm can re rotate 360. Uh, it can bend all the way up and touching its shoulder and it can also rotate around on the base arm we can rotate around on the hand as well the part that I don't like the arm is as you can see the right arm got a beam savers on it the left arm got a hole on it and it breaks the design I wish it have a extra piece to cover it up but it doesn't give you in the um, model runners so you may have to do some uh, after work on the left arm, but anyway, but I kind of feel, I kind of feel stressed when I see that kind of unbalanced design. Now getting to the part that I've been waiting for that most, the legs part. You know the legs part is the part that you have to give you full marks. So first, you can see the bottom, it extremely well detailed on the feet. Uh, most of the gunpla is like very beginning, like um, closer to the modern era, a lot of Gunpoints will still give you details on the feet, but back when, probably like 10 or 12, is it 10 years ago? Probably, yeah, 10 years ago, uh, on the feet, you would just see some hollow plastic down below. You're not going to see any detail, but this time, look at the feet, it's amount of detail. And then uh, let's talk about the movement. So front and back, not really anything special. The leg is the part that I like the most. It got a RG, it got a RG movement here. Look, at, look carefully. It will recheck back. This is just beautiful. It got a RG type of legs movement in an XG. That is great, excellent. Give you full marks of that. And there's a thrust as well. I think, I think the part that you need to repaint is the thrusters on the whole gambler. So I'm I I don't really sure which part. I think it's regarded to yellow or red. I I can't remember. But anyway, so the legs movement, insanely good. And uh, kick to the side, almost 90. Kick to the front, uh, you might need to move with the front skirt before you do the action. Um, kick to the front, it's not going to really kick that. Uh, actually, you can move up the whole torso and kick to the front is 90. Kick to the back is not really that much. As I said, XG mostly don't got any movable back skirt unless it's a Seda Gundam. Seda Gundam can do it. But anyway, that's the Gundam. Okay. Well, overall, I need to comment on the legs though. It got an extremely good design and I really like this kind of RG type design on showing on the next G. I really like it. Right now, well, we're moving up to the uh, backpack part. So as you can see, a lot of thrusters, great. You have to do some recoloring inside. 
Um, and the second part is I don't like this gray sticker on the front, on the backpack. And as you can see, it starts to lose here. As you can see, do you see it? It started popping out. I don't like it. I wish it was a part separation, but apparently it didn't. They could have do the thing that they do to the torso thruster here, but they didn't, okay? Anyways, that doesn't really matter. And <clears throat> this is a pretty simple backpack and not really much to talk about. And the, a lot of logos on it, but overall the color separation, except for this part on the backpack is excellent. But um, I wish that part was a separate part, but apparently they choose to give us stickers. Uh, that's very, that's very, that's very heartbreaking. The so last one, we're moving up to the accessories. So first we got a beam saver at the bot at the side. So <clears throat> you can either detach it or you can just simply put on the effect part on it and kind of do the unicorn beam saver thing. But uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I just realized that these arms sticker will actually pop out. So you might need to do something about it, but it's just very annoying when they pop out. I don't like it at all. Anyway, moving on. So first, we got a beam spray gun. Where is it? Beam spray gun. So you can either handheld it. Oh, oh my God. You can either handheld it or you can put it at the side of the legs. There's a joint here. You can put it on at the side of the leg. And secondly, we got a sniper rifle. So in this position, you can store it at the spot at the rear waist. So here, it. Uh, by the way, the connect is very unstable. So I will probably say that just be careful when you're putting it on. Oh my God, what happened? Yeah, so this is basically pretty much it. As you can see, it's, uh, you can store on it like that, or you can pull it out like that. And then how do we reform to the sniper rifle again? You basically extend the back, you extend the back of the gun, you pull out the tip of the gun, and then you put it back to the joint. And this is basically, how do you reassemble the whole sniper rifle? <clears throat> and next up, we got a trigger hand. Uh, holding the beam spray gun, I actually think it is very stable, but holding the sniper rifle, it is a very unstable joint. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So as you can see, I hold the sniper rifle on it. If I just basically simply, if I twist it like that, if uh, let me just put it on the gun for, for you for your reference. So if I put it like that, and sometimes if I move it, over move it, it will start to kind of popping out and it's actually not really stable. And uh, you can see what I mean here. It actually kind of start twisting around and it's not holding really stable. And by the way, the sniper rifle is too heavy and sometimes the hand will kind of start to falling down. Uh, you can start to tighten that. It's actually the sniper rifle was too heavy. So that's why I start to kind of lose it. But anyway, I don't think that is a very big problem though, because Let's be honest, your sniper rifle is not going to hold very up high because you're mainly shooting at the front, right? So I don't think this is going to be a big problem. It's just a small compliment that made by me. This is it, the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like down on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. Comment down below uh, about what your comments about this gunpla. Uh, my comment is, uh, it is a very excellent gunpla. I recommend you to get one. If you don't want the HG, uh, if you don't want the MG one, but the MG one is still as good as this. <clears throat> but anyways, if you have the condition, if you have the good price, just take one. It's not gonna disappoint you. And I actually just say the decal, except for the left hand, left arm on the gym sniper, is more stable than the FSD that I built before. I honestly need to say though, they did work on the decals, um, stickers, and it is a very good thing. But you know, but the backpack, if you have the, if you have the conditions and have the paints, just repaint it yourself because I seriously do not recommend stickers. Stickers is a very ugly thing on that, on that backpack and it's start loose as I mentioned. But anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in another review. Goodbye.